Hello and welcome to Andon's channel, my channel. I wanted to try something new, something that I haven't done before on my channel, and that is a miniature painting. Yes, that's right. I have become quite a D&D obsessive kind of person, and I do so much stuff relating to D&D. Every single day I do something related to D&D, including I've started painting miniatures this year. Uh, during February and then the whole uh, lockdown thing happened here in Denmark as well. So throughout most of this year I've painted quite a few miniatures and I thought to myself, you know what? I don't really have uh, an idea or a plan for where I want to my YouTube channel to be or anything, you know, I don't really upload regularly or anything. So I thought, hey, why not just try it out and make a video where I paint um, some miniatures and I thought why not start with the biggest one I've ever painted and that is as uh, I've talked a lot about D&D, but it's actually a Pathfinder mini This is a Pathfinder battle minis of a gargantuan skeletal dragon It's not in the packaging currently, uh, but this is where it's supposed to be But as of recording this part, I've already painted it. <laughs> I just forgot to make this intro video um, So it's currently out, but uh, I'll have a picture up so you can see how it looks when it's unpainted um, uh, but yes so this is a gargantuan skeleton dragon um, I don't know what kind of th dragon it is in regards to Pathfinder I mean I'm thinking like a Draco Lich kind of thing maybe or it can just be like I guess an undead skeletal dragon that's not as impressive I guess but hey it looks pretty cool huh on the packaging right it looks fucking huge. And as soon as this appeared in my local nerd shop, I thought, well, shit, I have to buy it before it's sold out. And would you know it, it is sold out currently. So hey, I I did a good thing here by, by buying this during hard times economically. Before I get into the whole painting thing, I need you all to know that I, I'm not an expert. <laughs> I'm not like a professional mini painter. This is just what I do now, uh, a sort of a fun hobby. And uh, my intentions are not to paint them like a fucking amazing or anything. No, my intent is just to paint them so they can be cool, you know, for uh, the, the table, for the physical table, especially now that me and my co-workers and friends and everything, now that we're all actually playing physically next to each other again, because there was like three months where we had to play online, and I just painted all these minis for nothing, but now it's not for nothing. I guess I should show what I'm painting with and everything. Um, I, I, I don't know how this works, but I am only using the Armor Painter uh, War Games Hobby Starter Paint Set. <laughs> so I'm literally just using a starter paint set to paint all of my minis currently. And I'm using like the extremely standard brushes and everything. And um, I realized when painting this big fucking thing that I really should have used <laughs> a bigger brush um, but hey it is what it is so if you're just starting out yourself you don't have to get all the, like a hundred thousand different paints you know as long as you know color theory and you can mix you know it sort of d doesn't go too bad I wish I had more washes though I currently only have like like a brown strong tone and a black dark tone but hey you gotta work with what you have um, enough talking this whole intro thing has gone on for quite a long time. If you are here and you want to see me paint some miniatures, here you go. And I'm going to cue in my, my voiceover as I talk over uh, the actual uh, painting of it so I can explain what I'm doing. And then maybe, I don't know, but maybe uh, if you yourself want to paint this mini, maybe you'll get inspired or something. I don't know. But you know, you don't have to copy everything because I'm sure that whatever I'm doing is not completely correct. But hey, it's a hobby. <laughs> Here we go, painting. Okay, microphone voice activated as I show off my the miniature in its unpainted form. It looks quite beautiful. You know, I had to do like some kind of zoom-ins and everything so you guys could see how, just how gray it looks and everything. Um, I think I'll be quiet throughout some of these, so it'll be like a little time-lapse happening. Here, uh, you can see the paints that I'm using. I'm using a, a sort of a yellowish paint, 
a beige-ish paint and a white paint. And I'm sort of mixing those together using this brush uh, that is not nearly uh, big enough, but it's the largest one I have. And here I am just merging and mixing all the colors up. I quickly realized that, you know, I had to do a few, few takes basically of these colors and everything until I got one color that was bright enough that I liked. And now I begin the process, the very tumultuous process of base coating this entire mini with this one specific uh, color. And this is where things took a long time. Only doing this took about an hour. Um, of course, you are now all seeing it in super sped up form. Um, it's quite interesting seeing how everything looks when it's all sped up. I'm essentially just trying to get every nook and cranny of the mini. So I sort of started around the body and then I that sort of spread out to its tail and then the wings and it's it's a process that took so much longer than I thought it would and I used up almost all of my white paint while painting this mini. So be aware of that, <laughs> try to have like a full amount of paint if you're gonna paint something this large because I did not I just, I wasn't prepared for how huge this was going to be, uh, even though I could obviously see it. Oh, here I am now painting the wings with the same color. Actually, it's not the same color, it's actually slightly lighter, because I ran out of the original, like, bunch of, of, of white, yellowish color, so I had to redo it, so luckily you can't, it's not too noticeable, I think I managed to make a very good similar blend. Um, but that's what you get when you mix colors, you know? You have to sort of try and get the same colors and everything, so it can be slightly tricky. But, uh, you know, I think I managed to get everything quite seamless. Now the dragon is looking quite yellow, so here I am now, uh, adding in a bit of blue to it. Because in my mind, I was like, ooh, what if this dead dragon was like a blue dragon? Mostly because of the horns uh, on its face, so that's why I did this whole blue color thing. Um, that's going to be, it's gonna show up again after I'm done with uh, everything. But I kind of like the idea of having the wings itself, the leathery feeling of the wings, being a slightly different color. And here I have the entire dragon in its uh, base form. It's not done yet though, of course, no, because now I need to add in the washes. Uh, this is the, the brown wash. I think it's called Strong Tone. Uh, but I'm just gonna refer to it as the, the brown wash, and I'm now essentially repeating the exact same process that I just did of painting over the entire dragon. Uh, but I realized quickly just how much of a process it actually was, so I'm instead just focusing on uh, the actual body of the dragon, and then I'm gonna let it stay for a couple of minutes to half an hour, and then I'm gonna do the wings. So here is me just painting the body, and I got real scared right here, because it was like, oh god, it's... Yeah, I made everything so brown. Luckily, with the, the third little technique that I'm gonna use here, um, is called dry brushing, where I add on the, the same yellow whitish color onto the brown, but I'm dry brushing if you don't know. <laughs> dry brush brushing is the technique, I guess, where you sort of take the color that you want on, on the actual brush, but then you sort of remove as much of as you can on a piece of paper, and then you sort of begin to brush on the mini, which is what I'm showing right here. Uh, and all of a sudden you get this white feeling. In fact, it almost looks even whiter now because of how dark uh, brown the, the sort of bottom aspects of the mini now has become. So it almost makes the, the yellow whitish stand out even more. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, quite, it's quite fun looking at the, the dry brushing happening when it's also sped up because it's like, ooh, a bunch of white is happening. Uh, but that's essentially what uh, dry brushing is, you know, you just quickly uh, brush over all of the areas. And uh, when you do this and you sort of essentially dried out the brush, I guess that's why they call it that, but you don't get any of the paint in the, the creases and the crevices of the mini, making the brown still exist there, almost like a shadow kind of thing. And I think it works really well when the miniature is this huge and this monstrous and it doesn't have to look perfect.
here I am now going on with, uh, I'm beginning to do the tail. I really like how the tail looks here in the sped up form. It's just like... <laughs> And here we have the mini completely done, essentially. Like the actual body, it's pretty much, yeah, it's done now. So now I'm going to add in the eye color, which is this red evil color. <laughs> and I quite liked how this mini, it actually has like an eyeball in the eye, so it was very easy to paint on the red. So I'm quite happy with that. Now I am doing the exact same process I've been doing, which is I'm going to be using uh, the, the brown strong tone wash on the wings to give it more of a leathery feel. And also, you know, to mimic the feel of how the, the bones on the actual body looks. Now, I have seen people, when they use washes, they mostly like dab onto the actual mini. Um, right now, I'm currently painting it on because I want the wings to look brown. I don't know, I've heard from people that you, you should try not to, I guess, paint with the wash and instead just dab on the creases, but I don't know about that, I'm just doing what I'm doing, you know? So, yeah, enjoy watching me wash over these minis with the brown paint. Here we have it almost done. Now what I'm going to be doing here, when I'm uh, doing the, the highlighting again, or the dry brushing, I will only use this, uh, the yellow whitish color on the actual bones themselves on the dragon. So not the leathery part, not the actual wing part, but just the bones. Uh, of course, first, you know, have to let everything dry for <laughs> for a couple of minutes because washes are very watery. Uh, but as soon as that's done, I will be going on to what I just talked about, which is this uh, whitening up uh, the bones to make them look more like, well, to make them look more like old pieces of bone. I'm now doing the dry brushing again, but I'm using the, the blue color that I used when I did the, the base color of the wings. Uh, again, I'm just imagining that maybe this was once a blue dragon, so I, I wanted to add, to add in a bit of blue tint. But um, I honestly wasn't really super happy with how the result turned out, so I, I actually did go back and I used the, the, the more bone color and I really dry brushed it and it sort of created this unintentional effect of making the wings look really old and like very wrinkly so I'm quite happy that I actually went back and I sort of added on the the yellow whitish after all because it gave it sort of a very old leathery kind of feel so I'm very happy about that and that was completely accidental you know I wasn't intending that to happen so I guess it just it goes to show that you know you gotta try stuff you never know what might happen <laughs> but here we are um, I'm not painting the, the the base of the actual mini to remove all the all of the paint that came onto it and here we have the mini and it's done yeah thumbs up everybody woohoo I did it and so here we are with the <laughs> The final results. I may go back and sort of repaint the the base that I tried to paint it black because it's not it's not really even right now when you look at it in the light. But hey, the actual mini itself, it's look look at it, it's done. I am surprisingly happy with how it turned out. I think it turned out pretty pretty damn good, you know? When you look at a skeletal a mini you just think like oh well it's already white isn't it when it's unpainted and uh, skeletons are just white no but look at this there are a bunch of uh, browns and <laughs> more yellowish whites and you know no I, I I'm quite happy with it yeah no it looks looks menacing and 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 quite cool I'm gonna here's a, a, a monk a monk mini that I've painted as well 
It's gonna place it here for scale. You know, look at it. Imagine just throwing this down at the table. All your players will just cry in, in fear. <laughs> It'll be great. Ah, look at it. Look at it it's in all its might. It's so spooky and 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 frightening and scary. Here it is with the monk. <laughs> oh no, this poor little monk guy. He has no idea what's coming to him. Look at it. It's fucking huge, dude. This is what I've come to love the most about painting miniatures and stuff for my D&D &D games. It's almost like the, the instant... You usually always get like an instant gratification almost as soon as you've uh, painted them. Because usually they don't look terrible. And uh, so it's always this feeling of like, yeah! Yeah, you know what? This looks quite good. I like it. <laughs> I think this will be it for this video. I hope you guys have not Whoever's watching this, I don't know if there's an audience for this. Maybe there is. I don't know. But I hope whoever's watching this that you've enjoyed um, my, my, my video. Oh god, I almost... So I guess what I would like to know is, would you guys be interested in seeing more of these kind of videos, you know? I'm probably gonna keep on painting m miniatures and I don't see why I wouldn't maybe record it if people are... <laughs> If people are interested, look at this dude, huh? This is probably the one I'm the most proud of. It's it's another dragon. This is a a red dragon. Ooh, so cool! But I'll I'll, I'll make a, maybe a, a separate video where I go into more like oh look at all these minis I've painted so far. But you know, I I I love D and D, and I love I, I love how I keep mentioning D and D when the miniature I painted was a Pathfinder one. But you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I've never played Pathfinder, but. Miniatures are miniatures. But yeah, I hope you all had a fun time watching this video and I love you all and I hope you all have a fantastic day and I'll see you guys in whatever I'm making uh, next. Yas.